Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello, Jerome. This is the case of Williams versus Potts and Carr. Thank you. Good day, everyone. Ms. Williams, you've asked the court to administer a DNA test to establish paternity for your two-year-old daughter, Michaela Brown. Yes, Your Honor. You plan to file a claim asking that your daughter become the beneficiary of up to $153,000 in Social Security death benefits over the next 16 years because her potential father, Mr. Marquet Brown, is now deceased. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Potts, you and your daughter, Ms. Carr, have doubt that your deceased son is the biological father and, in fact, claim that any number of men in town could be this child's father. Yes, yes. Your Honor. So, Ms. Williams, how has the deceased's family got in the way? Well, Your Honor, it's just... They're, first of all, in the way of me getting these benefits, they're just giving me problems, I'm having issues, and I just don't understand. I don't, she's clearly. A clearly, I don't she's understand. She's a whore. And when this test proves that the baby is not my brother's baby, we want her to remove his name from the birth certificate. Why would you put his name on the birth certificate when he was dead and nobody knew that was his baby? He knew it was his baby. He didn't know. Okay. Oh, oh beautiful little girl. So, Miss Carr, why do you have so much doubt? It's not his baby. I was taking her to different men's houses to get... throw her private part a party, is what she would quote-unquote say. Meaning she goes to different piece of people's houses, men, and have fun and throw her private part a party. So uh, how you know who your baby daddy is... Wait, wait, wait. But she was with your brother. Why would you take her to a private parts party? Because my brother had other girlfriends coming over and she was angry from that. So you would take her where she wanted to go or you planned the party? Um, I would take her where she wanted to go and pick her up. And I would meet some of the guys sometime. So you so, know yes. for certain that she I was sleeping around because you she were was there. Sleeping with other people, yes. Is this true? Were you having parties with men? Were you Can I sleeping you, with Honor? different men? Yes, Your Honor. She was taking me to different men's house. It's not a secret. So why would I lie about the baby being his? It's not a secret. It's not my brother's baby. Can I show you, Your Honor? Please, please. So I started out taking her to Compton, to this person's house, where I would drop her off and come back an hour and a half later and pick her up. And she would bring the person outside. Well, she brought this person outside to say hello to me, crack a couple of jokes, a little sweaty, messed up, hair messed up, and now it's time to go. A couple of days later, I'm taking her to Manchester and McKinley, dropping her off and picking her up. This person I never got a chance to meet, but it's the man, obvious, because she had me drop her off and in that time frame, within that hour and a half, pick her back up. Then I take her here to downtown to her friend house, who she spent multiple nights with, and I even let her use my bus pass to get back home with on several occasions from this location. So she been to that <laughs> location more than once. Exactly. That's probably who the baby daddy is. Okay. Compton. And this was all during the window of conception? Yes. Around all. No. No. Ms. Williams? He was already dead when she was taking me on 5th and Main. He was already dead. You don't throw your private part of party? Is that not your logo? No. Oh, okay. Your Honor, I took her downtown one time. At the time, did you know she was cheating or you know it now? I know it now because I took her downtown. Well, I took her downtown one time and that's the only time I knew she was cheating on my son. Hmm, these time frames are not... I'm tell, I know what I know. All right, let's talk about the pregnancy. When did you actually realize you were pregnant? Um, about close to two months after I was incarcerated. I had to contact my cousin, and my cousin contacted Mr. Brown and let him know that I was pregnant. No, Mr. Brown found out she was pregnant from a letter she sent to the house that was intercepted by my mom. And then my mom told him that the letter stated that she was pregnant. And my brother was like, no, she's not. And that's not my baby. Okay. I have... What do you have there, ma'am? I have, uh, letters Rome, ma coincide back and forth between us. This first letter is dated November 5th. It's a letter from you to... Mr. Brown. Mr. R okay. And it says, I talked to my cousin about two days ago and she told me she talked to you and let you know what's up and you said, I'm crazy, yeah, I guess I am. 
What is this about? About me being pregnant. I was in the working dorm and I had to keep it a secret because if the people would have knew I was pregnant, they're gonna move me out to general population. And what's the other piece of evidence you have, ma'am? Um, this is another letter that I got back from him that he wrote. This one's dated November 29th. And it's from... Him to me. Him to you. We're going to make it work. We're going to be together and we will get married. That's what he wrote to you. He had to and tell that her was 24 anything. days later. You said what, Ms. Carr? He'll tell her anything while she was in jail. He had girls coming over left and right. That's just something to feed her to ease her mind while she was behind them bars. Okay, so why are you so sure he's your child's father then? Because I know what I was doing. Yeah, I he have, also slept with two of my condoms. other brothers. So how are yada, you yada. so sure that that's my brother's baby? How are you so sure? Because I know. Oh. Are you sure of all your You're baby daddies? Oh, me. okay then. But, but you need to be worrying come. about your own business instead of mine. Come. I know what I do with mine. Just like I party. know what I do with mine. Throw it a party. She's a whore. Wow. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Did you get to speak to him anymore about? Yeah, we had a couple of telephone conversations when it was actually money on the phone for me to, for them to accept the collect calls. We had like maybe three or four conversations. And what were those conversations about? It's not his baby. Did he ever say, this isn't my baby? No, not to me. I don't know what he said to anybody else. I can only tell you what he told me. Your we Honor, hear the letter he, from her. He we hear me, the letter he from her. He told me that he wasn't the baby daddy. That's personally. what he told you? Yes. When she received the letter and brought it to his attention, because she told, my mother told everybody else about the letter before we even brought it to his attention. So when we brought it to his attention, he told all of us at once that that wasn't his baby. Okay. So, at what point, Ms. Williams, did you find out that he had passed away? The day after. I called the house. How long was that after the last time you spoke with him via mail? I don't know mail, but maybe three weeks to a month with the phone call. With a phone I did, call? I talked to him in the beginning of May. So, the last phone call you had with him is the beginning of May, and he passed away... At the end of at May. At the end of May. Your Honor, he passed away May 23rd, 2013. So... I, I had to ask, but I asked respectfully, what happened to your son? My son was standing down the street from the house getting ready to go party with his friends. The guy, the guy came down in a car and they shot him right there in the corner. I'm so sorry. This before or after Michaela was born? Before. Before. When I got before. the news, I was like already... I was close to the end of my pregnancy, but I was having issues, so they had me like hospitalized. I had like something called placenta privia. And, you know, I was constantly having issues in and out of the hospital. And when I got the information from Ms. Carr, it kind of sent me over the edge. So they had to, like, rush me. Like, in the process, I had to get an emergency C-section. It was complications with the birth and everything. Did you immediately ask about death benefits for your child? Or how did you proceed at that well, point? Well, at the time... I'm sorry. At the time, I was incarcerated. So there was no death benefits to proceed. It was nothing I could do but just have the baby, she have somebody come and pick anyway. the baby up. That ain't my brother, baby. And then when was the first time you two saw the baby? We never saw the baby. She sent the baby home to one of her friends. Because, because they wouldn't even come and pick the no, baby because, up. because... You never, she never, you never Your Honor, asked I was sick. Us I, was I had a conversation Your Honor, I was with sick. Mr. Brown. I was sick for two years. But she never asked me to take the baby. I had a conversation with Mr. Brown. She never asked me to Brown. step up and take the baby. I asked him, who gonna come and pick the baby up? Because I don't have nobody. I don't really have family members. And so, he never mentioned that to us. He was like, um, well, my mama said she don't want no more babies at this house. I was sick, Your Honor. I was sick. But she never even asked you to take no. care of it. She just assumed because she was sick that she wouldn't take the baby. She just was believing if my brother even told her that my mother wouldn't take the baby. You as a mother could have stepped up the same way you were calling the house to talk to my brother and yeah. asked my mother. And then we would have bowed down as a family and took the baby. She never brought that baby to us. And that's where the doubt lies. He was and like, well, she my mama... the DNA test. I I've never refused the DNA half. test. I offered to pay half on the DNA test. I don't have money to pay you half, I don't. That. Your quote, unquote, and response was, I don't... Ha I'm not paying the other half. And I said, why not? The baby's so you half tell yours. Me when I first I came her, back from Lord, jail, you didn't ask me to make if she can get a DNA test? DNA test? I told her I would pay the other $100 to do the DNA test. She want to do it. Wait, so the, ultimately, you feel like you were chasing her down 
trying to get her to take a DNA test. How did, and she was avoiding it. How did they yeah, have to chase me down house. and I lived in their house? How did you they have to her. chase me down? I said I wouldn't pay for it. I never said so I wouldn't So now Michaela's pay for almost two years old. She is two. She just turned two she last She just week. turned two. Okay. Have you established any type of a relationship with her, Ms. Carr, Ms. Potts? Yes, friends. They were standing in my house and she asked me, she take her other little boy to school, she asked me, can I watch him cater? I never told her no. I never told her no. So you do have a bond. Does she treat you like you're her grandmother? Yes. She does? Yes. yes. And when you look at her, do you see your son at all? No. No. I even use the website where you put the two pictures in and it projects an uh, image of what the baby is supposed to look like. If I can give you this. Yes. Jerome, um, will you hand me that? And this baby is what the baby should look like. And that's not what Michaela looks like. So you went to a website on your own. Yes. And you put in a picture of Miss Williams. Miss and... Williams and a picture of your brother. Yes. And the baby should come out looking like <laughs> that. This. Something like that. So what we're looking at now is a picture <laughs> of Michaela and a picture of the morphed version that you did, the mock-up, using the app. Yes. Where you put in both of the pictures. Yes. So when you came up with this, you said, this is absolutely not... Not my brother's baby. And you're concerned that the baby looks nothing like... Nothing like Michaela. That. Or nothing like Marque. Your Honor, nothing I, have like a, I have a picture, too. You do? I'd like to see that, Jerome. Yes. Michaela don't look like none of my mom's grandkids. For they the don't ones look that's like each all other. The this same. is a picture of like... Michaela and Miss Potts. You say there's no resemblance? No. No. Michaela doesn't look like my mother at all. Is she her mom? Why does she have to look like y'all? I don't it's get this. It's her daddy's mama. She don't have to look nothing like y'all. She, she looks look like me because like she's her. mine. She yeah. looks like me. My DNA made her. But ultimately, DNA does not lie. And I know that's why you're here today. Okay, Your Honor, I have yes, more evidence also. Oh, I'd I like to see that, Jerome. I would like to know why, if they're claiming the baby isn't his, why did they put her name in the obituary? Because my mother made me. I was forced to let that baby's name go inside of that obituary. Because you didn't want to? No, oh. because it's not his baby. He is survived by his children. And Michaela Brown is listed last. Yes. And why did you have her put it in the obituary? I, I made her put it in there. She told me don't. I just did it because I'm a Christian person and trying really? to be, and trying to be faithful. Really, really. She let you come live there. To, really, you were you know, homeless. I know I was, and homeless. I never said no. Where I'll you go. You're right. So and really, your mom yes, did take she me in. did allow and you I to thank come her live very there. much for helping me with so my really, kids yes, and living there Christian. and all of this you other stuff. You can't take that from her. But really, it's too many extras. It really is. It's not a lot of effort. But, Ms. Williams, you do understand the doubt, though, right? Yeah. You understand why they have doubt. Yeah, I Even understand. though you may not have yeah. any. Okay. But I just feel like if it's another man running around in this world that is her father, why would I deprive my child of a dad? Why? To blame it on somebody that cannot help me take care of this child. Now, you it know... It just don't make no sense. ...that the other man you messing with would not even claim your baby. So don't stand there and make it seem like you have somebody else on the list to run to that would be a great father to your child. The because two dudes the that I that do know about take care of their the kids. the one you messing with now will Take not... care of his child. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Ultimately, this is about Michaela. That's yes. why we're here. Yes. But How interesting... <laughs> They act like they care so much, but it's like I was sleeping in my car in the by French choice. By choice. By choice. By choice. Because you was knocking on our door at two, three in the morning. I got a Only key after that. Come I home got a key after at three that. Three a.m. You come home at morning. that. You you can't. You I come home at that can time. Do whatever I exactly. want. Exactly. So that I means I can too. Who my kids so father So that means is. I can too. I'm not here. You do. Texas, All of them. My baby. Every anyway, last one of. Them. Back to this. Okay. That matters. Yes. Huh. I have no doubt. Y'all yeah, wanted this. Right. I didn't need. All right, ladies. All right. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. I think it's time for the results. Yeah. I do. Thank you, Jerome. 
Before I get to the results, I just want to explain how the lab was able to give us this result. Because the potential father is deceased, with permission from the next of kin, we were able to obtain a blood card. That blood card was collected from the L.A. County Coroner's Office. We use that sample to run the paternity test. Are we clear? Yes. yes. Okay. The results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Williams v. Potts Carr, when it comes to two-year-old Michaela Brown, it has been determined by this court that the deceased, Mr. Marque Brown, was her father. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, you did that. I apologize. Thank you. You know I love Michaela. I, I love Michaela because I took care of Michaela. We needed to know. We just want to know you what's at her dad or not. We needed to know. Mm -hmm. Don't cry. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. We just needed to know, okay? Let's feel relieved that now they know Miss Williams. How does it feel? I mean, I already knew in my heart, but it's like I've been through a lot, Your Honor. I just hope stuff get better. That's all I can say. I hope we can build a better relationship with each other. I hope y'all love my kids like y'all love y'all kids and oh, everything my, be all right. Kids. I love Michaela. You know I loved her because I always kept her. Anytime you asked me to, I kept Michaela. I think that's wonderful. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. Thank, Thank you. you.